Hi Capricorn, welcome back to the channel or welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Just a couple things before we start. Everything you need to know is in the description box. Uh, details on how to get a personal reading, how to win a free personal reading. And then lastly, there will be an extended reading link in the description box. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. I will look at the next uh, three to four weeks energy moving forward from this reading. I treat it like a personal reading um, and I will have more details about that later. So with that Capricorn, let's get started here with your reading. We're going to do what are their true feelings for you Capricorn? What are their true feelings here for Capricorn? Okay, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Okay. Well, Capricorn, I'm going to start here on the bottom of the deck. We have coming together. One strong energy that I'm getting here, Capricorn, is the person that you're dealing with. It feels like they like to be in control. They like to take the lead. The reason being here is we have darkest fears, okay? I do feel with coming together, this person does have a lot of love, you know, indicated here with the heart chakra. This is someone who definitely has love for you. They definitely care about you a lot, okay? But I'm also getting here with lead, this is someone who wants to take the lead. So they may be somebody, um, you know, they're feeling like, you know, they want to do things in their timing is a good way to put it is what I'm getting here. Okay. Now you have darkest fears and look, you have take the lead again and you also have here open up. Okay. So I feel like this is someone Definitely with that lead energy, okay, this is someone who has, I feel, a hard time being vulnerable, okay? Does feel like they're very passionate about you here, too, with this fire energy is what I'm getting, okay? But this is someone who likes to feel secure, and that's why I'm feeling here. This is someone um, I feel like they probably hold back. This is someone who is not, doesn't like to be vulnerable. And that stems from their fears here. They're very pas uh, uh, very passionate person is what I'm feeling here. They could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I picked up strong Aries here with the, the lead card. Um, but this person has a very strong connection with you is what I'm getting. Now, we do have here change your focus this person i feel like you know this person you know i'm asking what their feelings are about you we're going to see more with the tarot but they don't show a whole lot about how they're feeling <laughs> which is very interesting here they don't open up here okay we got open up and we have reach out this is someone i feel who doesn't give a whole lot emotionally we have here seek Okay, so they, this is someone I feel they could be somebody who spends a lot of alone time here. This could be somebody that there's distance or separation. I'm feeling here as well. Now this is can be that meditation energy. So this could be someone, um, you know, maybe they're taking some time of, of solitude here, but we have change your focus. Okay, so there could be something here where there is some sort of conflict or this person here. Um, you know what I'm hearing too, like if you try to have a conversation with this person about how they're feeling, it's like they change the subject <laughs> as, as what spirit is giving me. But I feel like this person, this person's not, um, this person doesn't open up a whole lot, but let's see, um, what this person's true feelings are for Capricorn. Please show, uh, Capricorn. What's this person's true feelings? Okay. Well, this is someone who is spending some time reflecting here, okay? They're thinking about things here. They're thinking about, I feel, you know, the time spent together. We do have Aquarius energy on the bottom of the deck here, okay? Could be dealing with another earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But this is someone I feel... They feel there's time invested here, okay? So I feel like they feel very hopeful, 
right? They feel very hopeful here. This is someone they like to feel balanced, okay? They like to feel secure is the energy I'm getting here. And look at that. You have the Queen of Swords and you have, oh my gosh, the Four of Wands. And I just have to say, look at that. The Ten of Cups popped out here and the Queen of Cups. Well, they do see you as very kind, very giving here. I do feel like they may have a fear here of communicating about commitment, maybe marriage here, okay? So they may be very guarded, okay? They may have some fears here. I'm, I'm just going to say, I feel like they may have some fears here about commitment here. And, you know, Queen of Cups and the Ten of Cups, this person does have love for you. They see a lot of happiness with you, okay? Ace of Swords, maybe they're fearing like a conversation here. Maybe, I don't know, that may be specific to some of you, but there may be an upcoming conversation that they're avoiding here with that Seven of Swords that just showed up there. So this could be someone avoiding a conversation around commitment or has avoided conversation, but I feel like there's a lot of hope here, okay, between you and them, and they may not be showing uh, that or letting on that, but what else can you share with Capricorn about their uh, this person's truth feelings about Capricorn, okay? Three of Cups, they enjoy your company. That's what I just heard here, okay? This is a card of happiness, joy, celebration. Look what's on the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Cups, okay? So not only are they passionate about you, they enjoy your company, they feel happy with you. I feel like they see you as somebody they could have a family or have children with, okay? So uh, that's what I said here, I feel... This is someone I feel that just, you know, they want to do it in their timing here. We have uh, the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck, okay? Now, this could be somebody reflecting in reflection. Maybe they have fears around commitment. Some of you, I'm going to say, right, if there's distance or separation, this could be an indication that there's communication here with the Ace of Swords, this person having some epiphanies about how much they do enjoy your company. They love um, they love being with you. They feel a lot of happiness. This could be reconciliation, too, with the Ten of Cups. Okay, and um, the take the lead. This is someone I feel they're going to take the lead here in this connection with you. And I feel like there's going to be some upcoming conversation here with that Ace of Swords. Let's keep going. Okay, what wanted to pop up? Nine of Cups. Look at that. That came out with the open up card. So let's see what we got here. Oh my gosh, Capricorn. This is someone who has a lot of happiness with you, okay? They're very attracted to you. Look at that, King of Cups. We saw the Queen of Cups earlier. This is someone who does have love for you. The, the King of Cups is somebody who is not very vulnerable, but that doesn't mean that they don't have feelings and emotions. This is someone I feel, they haven't really truly opened up how much... Um, how much they care for you, they love you, okay, how you make them happy here, but this is someone I feel, um, they have fears, okay, definitely they have fears here around commitment, but I feel like you make them happy, Capricorn, really nice energy is what I'm feeling here, okay, maybe um, they haven't said it, but let's keep going, okay, we got the, oh my gosh, change your focus this could be a turning point capricorn look at this we have the sun card and we have the king of pentacles oh my gosh after a period of reflection here this could be somebody ready to make an offer a serious offer here as the king of pentacles could be a leo okay again an earth side okay so this could be change your focus this could be somebody Okay, remember I said change the conversation. Maybe they they avoided talking about commitment in the past, but I'm going to say here they're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. They're seeing it more and more here. They're seeing the potential here with the sun card. Uh, sun for me is a Leo season, so end of July, August. Okay, now that could be some timing for some of you. Oh, wow. Very interesting. Let's keep going. What else does the energy show here for Capricorn? 
this person's true feelings. Okay, and I want to say there's a lot of cups here. There's a lot of cups here, okay? That's emotion. Sometimes it doesn't show me, right, a lot of cups energy in these readings. Okay, look at that. We have Ten of Swords, and we have Page of Cups, and we have, oh my gosh, look at that. We have an Empress and an Emperor. This person sees you, Capricorn, as the one, okay, that they could be with a partner, marriage even for some of you. Now, we do have the Page of Cups and we have the Ten of Swords, okay? Now, what I'm going to say with um, the, the Ten of Swords, there may have been something that happened between the two of you. Some of you, it could have been an ending here, all right? Uh, some of you, um, it could have been something hurtful that happened. But I'm also going to say this could be somebody that they've been they've been very hurt in the past. That could be too why this person is taking some a time of solitude. Okay, but there's a new dawn, a new day here. This tells me that you know that's going to be in the past. And look, we have the Page of Cups. I feel like there's an energy here, Capricorn, where. You know, Capricorn, I'm sorry. I, You know, I, it's really interesting with this Ten of Swords. I started feeling chest pains. I don't normally feel chest pains. I don't know if they, um, maybe your person is dealing with some sort of illness. Very strange here that doesn't really happen. Okay. So Page of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so they're changing their focus here. Okay. They, I feel like with this Page of Cups, they're going to do something different. If you haven't heard from this person... Um, I feel like you're going to hear from this person. This could be communication. This also could be something they want to express or they do something differently. It can't even be a gift here. But as I said here, look at that. The Empress and the and the Emperor here. All right, let's uh, keep going here. Let's see what the energy is here for you. Okay, Capricorn. I had to take a breather for a minute. That was very strange. I've never had that happen before. So let's keep going here. What else can you share with Capricorn about this person's true feelings for Capricorn? Okay, uh, tower flipped out there. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Okay, seven of swords here. Interesting. Seven of swords, the tower. Okay. Now, if you haven't heard from this person, okay, I feel like with the tower here, um, they're going to reach out to you is the energy that I'm getting here, okay? Now, this could be somebody too. I get a very non-confrontational energy unless there was some sort of tower moment that happened between you and this person, Okay, why is the tower here, please? Why is the tower here? Okay, yeah. Interesting. Let me clarify the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here, please? Why is the Seven of Swords here, please? Four of Swords. Yeah, you know, look at that. There's, there's fears here. Again, I feel like there's fears here, okay, with the Moon card, Pisces, Cancerian energy. There's fears here, I feel, around communication. So if you've not heard from this person, this could be that this person, there's something here I feel. It's, it feels like this person, um, there's something around confrontation. Confrontation here, okay? So they're worried about some sort of confrontation. Now the confrontation could be around talking about commitment okay and like i said i feel like this is someone who really wants um to be to, to to be the one right to be in control or be in the lead of where things are going so this could be someone uh, worried about an upcoming conversation between you and them and now there could be separation or distance for some of you i'm sorry uh, and that could be, I just drank a whole bunch of water. <laughs> uh, that could be that Ten of Swords um, energy. You know, if there was an ending between you and this person. But I feel like there's um, an energy here that some of you could get communication, not expecting 
right to hear from this person or you get it in a time when you're not expecting it but i'm also getting here too your person may be feeling that you know they're they're gonna try to avoid any type of confrontation i don't know why i'm getting that energy but let's uh pull some yin yang oracles and see what the energy shows here okay so we got uh deception interesting this is seven of swords energy okay now this could mean different things this could be um you know that maybe this person wasn't honest about something i also see it as an avoided energy okay this could be somebody um also um that didn't make wise choices here in the connection yeah, look at that, cold and control. And that's what I was saying, this person likes to be in control. So this could be somebody who has been really uh, secretive or hiding their feelings, okay, blocking their emotions, okay? You may feel this person is uh, detached emotionally, okay? Let's see what else we have. We have higher self and we have integration. This is an awakening. Okay, so activation here. So it could be here that this person here, okay, they're having some sort of epiphany because like I said, a change of focus here. This person's had some time to think about things, reflect. They realize how happy they are with you. They're not opening up about it, but this is someone very attractive, um, very um, um, content with you. I feel like this could be someone too, very independent energy. Okay, we got toxicity. Okay, so this could be somebody who has repeated patterns. And so, you know, it may not just be with you. It may be in past relationships. This could be also someone who has addictions. Um, or, you know, there could be some sort of trauma that they went through. Then that's why they have these fears. Or they like to be in control. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, we got karmic. Karma and justice. I don't know why I said karmic. Maybe a karmic's involved here. But... This is an energy here of if this person did uh, make some wrong choices or bad behavior, this is saying that karma is coming around to make things right. Now, they may have gone through some karma that has made them really realize their true feelings for you, okay? We also have here, look at this, Ace of Water. This is a healing energy, okay? It's also a romantic love offer here, too. Okay, it's a new start or renewal in love. Okay, a lot of emotions here. And look, we got the feminine energy, which is a very intuitive energy. It's the yin energy. Um, it's also um, an energy here of a nurturing energy here. Okay, so something's coming into balance here, I feel, with emotions. Um, the feminine energy can be about... Uh, receiving so this can be an indication that you're going to receive maybe more from this person emotionally or uh, some sort of way where they share your love and yeah look at that you got spirit guides on the bottom of the deck here so spirit guides there's some sort of divine guidance or assistance here probably happening for both you and this person to bring things back into balance okay so you may be seeing signs and synchronicities and they're telling you to trust okay there's divine timing here okay greater forces are at play all right so capricorn i think i'm going to leave it here i'm going to take it to the extended we will look at the next three to four weeks energy going forward what they're thinking, feeling, their upcoming actions, their intentions, love notes, guidance, and future love energy. So link is in the comments and the description box. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.